Hi everybody, this is a video I've really been wanting to make for many years and it's a little secret that I'd like to share with you. Your calculator can absolutely ruin your college career for you. It might actually make you drop out of college and not graduate and that's very sad. You need to know this as soon as possible so that in the earlier math classes that you're taking you can um, put the calculator aside and try to do as much of your homework as you possibly can using mental arithmetic and uh, writing uh, working after problems by hand so you got to know you got to know that you cannot get through algebra without mental arithmetic and this is something that students in uh, arithmetic class or pre-algebra or, or even a beginning algebra may not realize that once you get to intermediate intermediate algebra especially which in our case is math 98 once you get to math 98 there's going to be a lot of problems that require mental arithmetic that you simply cannot do in a calculator I'd like to show you some of those and I just bear in mind it it's 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 this but it's also you know just the general um, estimation being comfortable with numbers and and good mental arithmetic will just make math so much more understandable enjoyable worthwhile and fun it's uh, and bad mental uh, being calculator dependent and bad mental mental arithmetic basically makes math uh, algebra it, it it just you don't really understand why that answer is the way it is um, you're not having fun uh, you're not really getting it and 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 it it makes it a real chore and 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 that's one of the reasons students say I just don't get math it's cuz you don't know your times tables i mean you you need to know your times tables you need to understand uh, you know, you need to be comfortable. If you're comfortable with numbers, just basic mental arithmetic, then then uh, the classes will be fun and make sense. So let me give you some. Uh, so well, let's just start off. I mean, basically, there are two types of students: those that are calculator dependent with poor mental arithmetic, they struggle in algebra, and they often fail or drop out of college completely just because of math. And it's really sad because. Um, you know they, they you know they wanted to 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 sometimes do things that don't actually require a whole lot of math and then they so anyway watch out for that other the other type of student we have are ones that are have good mental arithmetic do not rely on a calculator uh, for pretty much most of what they do and they pass algebra and often enjoy it and they get it and they understand the answer and, and it makes sense because they're comfortable with numbers so try to be a student that does not rely on a calculator you'll enjoy it, algebra and you'll pass it basically uh, so I'll give you some examples of why you can't rely on a calculator in uh, in the later classes. So here's some problems from Math 98, the intermediate algebra, right? If you have to, you don't, don't have to understand what this means, but if you're given this question, x squared plus 12, x plus 35, and you're, it says factorize that, what it's actually asking you to do is figure out what two numbers multiply to 35 and add to 12. Now if you know your times tables and you're, you've been doing uh, You've been in the the lower uh, uh, arithmetic class and, and, and pre-algebra and, and that, and you're you're doing your homework without a calculator in the previous classes. Then you'll go, okay, that's x plus five times x plus seven, and then you're done. That's it. That's the answer. It didn't take that long. You cannot plug that in a calculator. How can you plug in what two numbers multiply to thirty-five and add to twelve in a calculator? You can't do that. That's the problem. And you guys need to understand that this is a real issue that you can't do all problems on a calculator and this is the problem so here's another one x squared minus 1x minus 20 this one is saying what two numbers multiply to negative 20 and add to negative 1 now I totally when I teach this class I totally see the two types of students the ones that are calculator reliant and are still calculator reliant think that this is so hard the ones that have been have good mental arithmetic and do the homework without a calculator they come to this problem and and they it might take a little bit of time but eventually it doesn't you know eventually they'll figure out okay negative five and positive four okay and you know it's the mental arithmetic that, that gets you there here's another one what do numbers multiply to sixteen and add to seventeen you know 
Again, students that are calculator dependent, they look at this problem, it'll take them a whole 10 minutes, they realize that they can't use their calculator for it. And um, the ones that, that are not calculator reliant, that are using good mental arithmetic uh, all the way through their math classes will go, okay, that's 16 and 1. Right? And that's it, they're done. I mean, it, it, if you have good mental arithmetic, algebra is easy. It really is. And it's fun. Um, here's another one. Factorize this. Those that have good math arithmetic will look at this and go, okay, I can see that 3 goes into everything. Don't worry about what this means. That's okay. Don't worry about that. But I'm just trying to make a point that this cannot be done on a calculator. And if you have good math arithmetic, you will know that 3 times 12 is 36. That's all I'm saying. And you'll be able to go 3 into 108. Uh, and 3 into 10 goes 3 times remainder 1. And 3 into 18 goes 6 times. Okay, so if you've good mental arithmetic, you can do that pretty easily. But if, you, if you're calculator reliant, you're, you're in big trouble once you get to intermediate algebra. And you may not get through it. And this is something you need to think about as soon as possible so that you can get yourself away from the calculator addiction. Okay. And then, of course, we have this uh, one to keep going. You don't have to understand what this means. But all you need to know is you're looking for two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to 12. And again, those that have good mental arithmetic will say 6 and 6. So they add to 12 and multiply to 36. Right? So that's just simple times table. 6 and 6 add to 12 multiplied to 36. And in fact, in this case, we need a negative 6 and a negative 6. So you don't have to worry about what all this means. It doesn't matter. But the point is, I just want you to notice that wh what I was thinking, all the thinking that went in here was we need to know that 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, that was one thing. The other thing we need to know is that 6 times 6 is 36. Okay? And 6 and 6 add to 12. So that's all that needed. That That's what solved. That was the, the hardest part of the problem. The rest is, you know, easy. I mean, that that's really, that was the key to solving the problem. Simply knowing your times tables. And so this is intermediate algebra. It's, it's basically checking to see if you know your times tables. Um, another one. Square root oh, 75. Oh, I can put that in the calculator. Fine. Square root 75. But that's not what we're looking for. See, that gives you a big long decimal number, an irrational number. We don't want that in an intermediate algebra uh, some, uh, sometimes. Sometimes you want that in a, in a better form. We want that in a neater form, a simpler form. And what you need to know, and the, those that are not, cal uh, that, that have good mental arithmetic, we go, okay, I can see that that's 25 times 3 right away. 75 is 25 times 3. Okay? And then the next mental arithmetic step is they go, okay, what times itself gives 25? 5. 5 root 3, and that's the answer. Now your calculator won't tell you that that's 5 root 3. Okay? Um, here's another one. This is 49 times 2. And 7 times 7 gives 49, and that's the answer. Here's another one. This is five or ten thousand times five, and what times itself gives ten thousand? A hundred, right? And so look how how cumbersome these problems can be when you're using a calculator, and how easy they are when you have good mental arithmetic. I mean, even in uh, Math 107, Math and Society, which by the way you have to get through 98 to get to here. I mean. I, I, there's so many problems I could go over, but but here's one. I mean, I, half of my class gets stuck on this every term, and and I won't go into what the problem's about. But where they're stuck is they just cannot see that 0 0.98 is in fact one minus 0 0.02. They just can't see that. <laughs> and if they could just see that, then the whole problem becomes easy. But they're just staring at this decimal, going, "Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do," you know, and that this is in fact one minus two percent. Anyway, I won't go into what the problem is, but this is the whole that's the whole key to solving the problem is just to know that that is one minus zero point zero two. Another problem is I won't go into the details, it's a long word problem, but all I mean if the students could just see that that's one point one minus zero point sorry, one three and that point one three is thirteen percent, which by the way, this was all supposed to be learned in Math sixty you know, in, in uh, arithmetic class, then the whole problem would be easy. <laughs> but it's, it's that one step. 
And, and uh, you know, how do you ask your calculator to tell you that 0.87 is in fact 1 minus 13%? How do you ask your calculator to tell you that? So you got to realize there's so many, I could go on and on. I could give you a hundred examples of why it's so, um, it's why, of a hundred examples of problems where you cannot use a calculator anyway. So um, I hope I've uh, motivated you to practice your mental arithmetic. The, the, the more you practice it, the better. The, be the more times tables you learn, the better. And best of luck with everything. Try to be a happy algebra student and don't rely on your calculator. Best of luck.